The eyes may be the windows of the soul, but for a fascinating array of species, the eyes just don't have it. Today we discover bizarre creatures that have jettisoned their eyes through means like atrophy in the course of evolution. A rule of nature, if it's not useful, drop it. The eyes are either missing or grossly atrophied in these strange creatures that are adapted to live in their dark worlds. Number 10. Blind Cave Crayfish Imagine a lobster in the form of a ghost, and you will have a realistic image of the Blind Cave Crayfish species. The animals, known as crayfish in North America, are close relatives of marine lobsters and bear a very similar appearance to lobsters that are often encountered in the ocean and sometimes on the dinner plate. When crayfish adapt to subterranean aquatic ecosystems, they turn into pale, white, ghostly apparitions. The reason for this is that they no longer need to invest any energy into maintaining pigment or vision. August 16, 1999 saw the discovery of yet another species of blind crayfish in Ozark County. These creatures were ghostly pale and had adapted to cave life. The dark, muddy, flooded cave from which the new species was hauled is in a protected area kept confidential in order to protect the new species. Other better known species of blind crayfish provide insights into the ecology of these animals. Feeding on small prey, such as blind cave salamanders, as well as scavenging waste and feeding on small invertebrates, are among the ways that these animals can find food. Number 9. Blind Deep Sea Lobster Just like a cave, the deep sea hides creatures away in darkness, far from the reaches of the sun. And here in the depths, we find the blind deep sea lobster. It is a fairly new species discovery from a depth of 984 feet in the Philippine Sea. Not only is it blind, the pale creature has horror movie worthy, barb studded claws of incredible length that more than make up for its lack of eyes as it seizes food. While regular lobster species have traditional claws, one thicker for crushing and one thinner for slicing, the blind deep sea lobster has claws that are out of proportion to each other, one being far longer than the other. The longer claw is so out of scale that it's nearly the entire length of the lobster's body. Not only are the lobster's two claws formidable pincers, they are studded with terrifying teeth all the way from front to back. Prey has little chance to escape these creatures. The species was discovered during an expedition of the Census of Marine Life and subsequently given the scientific name of Dinahellus orsabili in honor of Jesse Orsabel, who co-founded the Census of Marine Life. The pinkish and white-shaped creature's ghostly appearance is made far creepier by its obvious lack of eyes. Number 8. Texas Blind Salamander Looking like a ghost with gills, the Texas Blind Salamander navigates effectively in its limited underwater environment, a system of caves that are full of water from the Edwards Aquifier in Hayes County, Texas. The water bodies in which the salamander exist may be dark, but the water quality is extremely high. The lack of pigment produces the pale white coloration, while the extended gills allow breathing underwater during the adult phase, long past the larval stage of development. Growing up to 5.5 inches long, the Texas blind salamander is reasonably sized, while the level of atrophy seen in the eyes of this species is extraordinary. Instead of eyes, the creature has only two tiny spots that are under the skin, thanks to evolutionary regression. As the salamander makes its way in the darkened environment, food is sometimes scarce, but when encountered, highly nutritious. Despite a lack of eyes, prey also stands little chance once detected. The blind salamanders can tell when an unlucky shrimp, snail, or insect affects the surrounding water pressure, tracking movement and making a catch. Reproduction is no problem either. Females will even make passes at eligible males, including nipping at them to garner their interest. Number 7. Mexican Tetra Also known as the blind cavefish, the Mexican Tetra looks like a normal, attractive little fish in its shape, albeit a bizarre version without functional eyes. While the blind cavefish morph of Mexican tetra is most freakish, it is worth noting that it is not a separate species, but rather just a morph or variant of the Mexican tetra, a pretty typical small fish species. The eyes of blind morph Mexican tetras are covered over with skin, and they patrol certain cave waters for food in a bizarre case of change within the population of species. The Mexican tetra is actually a distant relative of the notorious piranhas of the Amazon and is also genetically linked to the ever popular aquarium fish, the neon tetra. Despite being among the most exotic and bizarre of aquatic creatures, Mexican tetras are becoming more familiar over time due to their rising popularity as ornamental fish. Specimens can be found in local fish stores as an unusual choice for the home aquarium. Juveniles have some light sensing ability, but as eyes would be a useless drawer on energy, other adaptations take priority, such as the fish's ability to navigate via water pressure fluctuation sensing. Experiments show that blind cavefish can successfully spawn with the surface dwelling fish of the species, with fertile offspring resulting. Number 6. Spelionectes, Eyeless Fanged Crustaceans. 
Lava tubes may be extreme environments that are the exotic remains of past volcanic activity, and sometimes they remain as the site of current volcanic events. In some lava tubes, strange eyeless crustaceans are found making a living in their dark undersea environment. In the pitch black of a submerged cave of volcanic origin off the Canary Islands, two species of Speleonectes, the name meaning cave swimmer, are found. Here in the pitch black darkness, these crustaceans, distant relatives of lobsters, crabs, and shrimp, do not see their prey, but nevertheless, they find them and then inject venom through their fearsome fangs. The cave in which both the original species and the second Speleonectes species were discovered is called Tunnel de la Atlantida, which translates to Tunnel to Atlantis. Speleonectes atlantida, the scientific name of the new species, which is more physically active than the original Speleonectes species found, is Cave Swimmer of Atlantis in English. The discovery was published in Marine Biodiversity. DNA testing was used to confirm the variation between the two species of Speleonectes. Number 5. Blind Spider Spiders? They're scary enough. But how about an underground species of spider that doesn't have eyes? Well, German scientist Peter Jaeger had the distinct experience of discovering a large eyeless huntsman spider hidden in a cave in the Southeast Asian country of Laos in 2012. There are 1,100 species of huntsman spider roaming the world, and the discovery of the cave-loving Cynopodus gurion is significant given that the species is the only eyeless huntsman spider species that's known to science. Jaeger, who is the arachnology head at the Frankfurt-based Senckenberg Research Institute, discovered the spooky pale spider 60 miles from the enormous Zibang Fei River Cave. Spiders normally have exceptional vision for an invertebrate with eight distinct eyes, but in the case of Cynopodus scurion, evolution has led to the regression and gradual disappearance of the eyes, leaving the spiders attuned to picking up the movements of prey without eyes. Number 4. Cryptotora thamicola A blind fish is interesting enough, but how much more fascinating is a ghostly white blind fish species that climbs up waterfalls and recalls a reptile or amphibian so good are its locomotion capabilities. A novelty that caught researcher attention, Cryptotora thamicola was discovered in Thailand making use of exceedingly shallow rushing waters in complete darkness of partially flooded caves. The fish may not have eyes, but they hold superpowers as far as fish are concerned. Equipped with superfins, Cryptotora thamicola not only moves through shallow water less than half an inch deep, but can even haul itself up small waterfalls as it travels throughout subterranean environs. Researcher Brooke Flamang, a New Jersey Institute of Technology Federated Department of Biological Sciences assistant professor, became the lead author of a study covering the physiology of extremophile fish, even putting together 3D models showing their unusual locomotion methods. The hip structure of this species is very unusual, consisting of strong pelvic bones and supporting connections that hold the backbone sections together. This allows extreme strength similar to a tetrapod, and definitely not a fish. Number 3. Blind Scorpions Scorpions are scary enough, but how much more freakish would it be to see a scorpion? Scorpion, but know that it doesn't see you. Blind eyeless scorpions are absolutely a thing, with Mexico being host to a fascinating set of such species. Because blind animals live in dark and out of the way places, many have been out of the view of researchers and are comparatively new to science, only discovered in recent years. Typhlohactus is the sole scorpion genus to be completely lacking eyes. In 1968, Typhlohactus sylvestris was discovered in a montane, meaning high elevation forest region in Mexico, where it hides and hunts in the darkened environments provided by thick leaf litter. The scorpion may lack eyes, but it dispensing with eyes allows development to be focused on other adaptations more useful to a denizen of the dark, such as increased sensitivity to nearby prey items and agility in navigating the leaf litter. Three other species of eyeless scorpions are known, but these are blind for a different reason, being inhabitants of dark caves where they opportunistically seek out their prey. Number 2. Martialis hureca Ants may seem commonplace, but it is a bizarre ant species that captivated famed biologist Edward O. Wilson, a scientist known for popularizing awareness of the importance of biological diversity in natural systems. Martialis hureca is a blind ant species from a region of Brazil's Amazon rainforest close to Manaus. The ant is so strange, lacking eyes and being fully adapted for a dark environment lifestyle, that Wilson and fellow researcher stated that the creature should be from Mars. The feedback is reflected in the generic name Martialis which is a new genus of which this species is the sole member. The species name Hureka refers to the unexpected nature of its scientific discovery. The lack of eyes indicates that the ants are likely users of exceedingly dark environments, such as hollow cavities in rotting tree roots and under thick leaf litter. Interestingly, the lack of eyes is paired with another most unique adaptation. Long mandibles that cross over like forceps are present, a trait not seen in any other species of ant. These appear to be able to assist in hauling prey items out of dark crevices. Number 1. Florida Worm Lizard Lizard 
lizards are not just green four-legged creatures that crawl around tree branches, rocks, and gardens. There is an array of blind lizard species. There are many species that slither snake-like through sand, soil, and other dark subsurface environments, sensing their prey through non-visual means. Looking somewhat like a section of corrugated hose bleached white and then come alive, the strange and sightless Florida worm lizard takes creepy to a whole new level. Rhinura floridana lacks external ear openings and grows to about 7 to 11 inches in length. The life of this animal is a subterranean one, crawling through the ground in complete darkness, preferably in sandy soil. In such conditions, iron ear openings would be a handicap rather than a help to the animal. Worm lizards are not considered snakes, but a resemblance is obvious given these reptiles' lack of legs. They are not true lizards either, but constitute their own reptilian group called Amphisbanids, with characteristic genetic and physical oddities. When flooding happens, the ghostly reptiles may appear on people's lawns or driveways, forced out of their secretive lairs by the water. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. We got brand new videos every day of the week. Also, why not check out my new channel called Geographics? It's a geography channel, obviously. You're going to find that linked to below. And as always, thank you for watching.